Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And unfortunately, the reality is the same when PF was in power. When I spoke good about uh, uh, the PF and uh, Edgar Lungu at that time, by UPND, Mwalenji Mina, hey, now I could shamo, hey, Valakson Kerenganda, hey, Vali Kuchitra Shana Shana Shana. You used to say that. This is not healthy for our country, my brothers and sisters. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. Let us not do politics from an emotional point of view. Whereby, because it is Aka Inde Ichirema, everything is bad. Because you don't like Aka Inde Ichirema, everything is bad. Because you don't like Edgar Lungu, everything is bad. No! Because it is Shurufatayari, then whatever he's saying is, is nonsense. No! Let us be realistic. So from my point of view, where you PND have gone wrong, I've clearly said it that this is wrong. In terms of commodity prices, what I'm basically saying that, yes, there are mistakes. For example, one mistake that I've attributed to UPND is the fact that they opened borders when immediately came into power. And when they did that, they, they caused pressure on the market and the minimum prices went up. But even that, you cannot continue talking about it. This is the third year. You keep talking about Wungo Washtishe in 2021 to say, no. Circumstances have changed at that point, yes. But today, today, it is not because they have sold Ubunga, no. Today is different. By the way, we have millimu in this country. We have, we, it's not that we don't have millimu. We don't have maize. We have maize. We have maize. So those of you, I have a Kadiro Kobach, no, I'm 2021, uh-uh. Today, as we speak, we have maize in the country. What has changed are the prices or, or the cost of producing that maize. That is what has changed. So the issue of opening borders, yes, smuggling is still there. But mostly, Uwunga at this point in time has gone high not because of they sold the meal. No. In 2021, yes. But to this year, 2023, it is not because they sold Uwunga uh, into the neighboring countries today Uwunga now it is expensive because of the cost of producing that and what is the cost of producing that because we want to amend no we, we are growing maize we are growing maize yes the maize is growing from our soil but what does it take to pro to, to, to to produce that that uh, that maize you need labor you need fuel. Kwadi wama tractors. Ama farmers, they use ama tractors. Pakulima. And the ama tractors, yala wumpia fuel. Then kwadi wa ntwantane fertilizer. That fertilizer, until this year, that is when we have plants that are able to produce. That are able to produce the ntwantane eh, eh, fertilizer. But all along, we have been buying fertilizer from other countries. And the major supplier of fertilizer in Zambia is Russia. That's where it comes from. Russia and Ukraine. That is where most of our fertilizer come from. And this is where there is war. This is where there is war. The fertilizer that we used to buy in PF is not the same in terms of price today. These people who have produced maize this year, they put in a maize at a high cost of fertilizer. At a high cost of fertilizer. So what is causing the increase in, in fuel in, in maize now, or minimum now, it is the cost that they put in to produce the maize that they are selling now. That is what is causing a high price. 
Now, is it because of Haka in the HMI? Is it because Haka in the HMI is in state house? No. What has HHA got to do with the, the war in Ukraine? What has it got to do with? What has it got HH got to do with the increase in fuel? What has it got to do with it? Who is HH? With due respect to him, but who is HH when it comes to you know the fuel pricing and on the international market? Do they consider HH when they're increasing fuel? They don't. So fuel has been going high from the time that we we had that war in Russia and Ukraine. Fuel has been going high. It has it, it has continued going high recently. You know, is it Saudi Arabia was saying we have stopped. We want to we, we, we will keep our fuel, we will sell it at our own price. Now there is even this war which has come between Israel and the, and Palestine. It, the pressure is even more. So we expect fuel to be going high. Are these things caused by Haka in the Hlema? Would would they be different if Edgar Lung was in power? Would they be different if Chinvatad was in power? Would they be different? No. And this is a reality. And when I tell you this at yo, you are umsha in abuadi. Yo musirila kwa kama. Nikui soku kavire. Nikui soku kavire. Ba you PND abu. Ba la ndonga maseos. Ba you PND abu. Na mpano ndei ilishanya. Eh? Ndei ilishanya. Even now and ndei ilishanya. Eh? They are still not treating me well. You PND is still not treating me well. I'm talking, I'm telling you reality. Ela imumuika lideve. Yo, HHR and Dratch yote. Akashi chafiwa pali ten kwacha. Akashi chafiwa pali ten kwacha. Aka ifumia kuisa. Aka ifumia kuisa. If you continue listening to the lies that Haka in the HNMA told you, and you keep repeating it, you keep repeating it. Nishi chipu wa nina ni? Sorry, munja leleko nishile nituka. But uche pera mano nina ni? Who is not thinking properly? Now we should not wish what fuel wali runda. Fuel wali runda. Iyo eche chale landa tu fuel ni eche kwacha. So eche kwacha nga navika go tuku kwacha for transport na shana shana. Nke sashichapai ten kwacha at most 12 kwacha. That's what you used to say. But is fuel today in the Middle East and elsewhere? Is it eche kwacha? Is it eche kwacha? Eh? It is impossible. It is impossible. So, nangumunga lambda shani, nangumunga nita shani shani. And ine nde mieba, I'm just telling you these things. Ukwe bati, muiluke, you open your eyes, face the reality as it is. So that if we have to start engaging this government, we engage them on the truth. And the solution, I've been saying it here. The solution I've been telling this government is that fuel is expensive. And it is costing, it is, it is making the cost of living very high. So, what I've been asking this government, and what I would want you to join me in asking this government, is that we introduce targeted, targeted uh, subsidy. Targeted subsidy. What do I mean by targeted subsidy? I'm not saying let's just bring subsidy for everything. No. We can target subsidies, for example, for farmers. We can target those those farmers, those who are producing, eh? those farmers that are producing, we can target them to say, these farmers that are producing whatever, whatever, we will sell them fuel uh, cheaper. Okay? Or, or, based on their registration and everything, we will waiver, you know, some taxes. We remove certain taxes. We don't give them money, since we don't have the money, but we, we remove taxes. We suspend taxes. For the meantime, because we need to balance it up. For the meantime, things not be sure. So for the meantime, we suspend taxes on fuel, for example. Targeted. Eh? This is, this, uh, those are realities. Not to say, no, Aka in the HLM said, I will sell it at 10 kwacha. It will never happen. So all the realistic, ninani, who is more realistic between yourselves and myself? Yes. I was here, and I've said it here. To say, I can't the I said, you sell me at 12 quarts. But I have stopped singing that song because I know it will not happen. And therefore, I'm being practical by calling for measures that are real, that are realistic. It is realistic to say, suspend tax 
on fuel, for example. It is realistic to talk about, can you increase, you know, FISIP uh, distribution? Can you make sure that more farmers have, you know, FISIP? It is realistic. Then you to just keep it, hey, nafirwa, hey, nafirwa. Okay. Haka inde ichile mafu mepo. Muvike popo mulefuwae. Are you telling me fewer will go down? Are you telling me just be realistic? Haka inde ichile mafu mepo. Tumu fumepo lelo. Mairaka fumepo. Are you telling me fewer will go down? Are you telling me minimi will go down? Are you telling me walungu? Let's imagine. Kaya mwambi 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 we think we are going to try to wash up one day to bunga. Eh? Hey, bank PF when PF was whatever, it's true. But we are going to be aware of it. Are you telling me we are going to be able to buy two hundred kwacha? We are going to be able to buy two hundred kwacha. So, we are going to be able to buy two hundred kwacha. We are going to be able to buy two It is you people who are playing a fool. I'm telling you. It's you are playing a fool. You can call me whatever you want, but it is you. And you know, once you don't admit the problem, you will keep on suffering. You will keep on suffering. Admit the problem and face it head on. That's what you need. These cheap politicians who are busy talking, hey, shan, 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 they can do nothing. They can do nothing. And I can assure you, whatever, whatever, nothing. But I can assure you that Valungu ngeva limu power lelu. Ndefa mufu ikishewa imwewe neva alevu ilapu. If Valungu was in power today, Valungu things would have been worse. Things would have been worse. Na echechi na eshako. I'm telling you. And why am I saying this? I am saying this because if you look at Valungu na echechi, echechi na kwa tako goodwill. He has got good will. And just that good will counts for a lot. Trust me. In other countries, the increment of commodity prices has been higher than we have it in Zambia. They have been higher. Haka Inde Ichirema has got ka good will. That ka good will has played a lot. Valungu ngewa limpawa alangana lunya. Nge nyewe chig. Ngana lunya because... This is a fact. So, we are here to be able to get the money. We are here to be able to get the money. We are here to be able to get the to come and change things. So, be realistic. At, hey, no, we can't trust you. We can't trust you. Even if you don't trust me, even if you don't trust me, you will not go and buy me with 200 kwach. You will not. You will not. Fuel prices will not go down. But if you join me in calling for this government to introduce targeted subsidies, we can move forward. We can benefit something. So continue calling me names. And let's see if things will go down. But if you choose to join me, we call for subsidies. We, will, we may have something. That is my point. Then somebody said, at don't side with government. Because you are in opposition. That is the nonsense that I have not accepted. Even by, by UPN, you used to, 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 do, to say the same thing. When you are going to support our PF, but no, you are, you are an opposition. Don't side with the government. That is nonsense. Who tells you that I'm, I'm UPN? Who tells you that I'm PF? I'm not. I'm in opposition, but Economic and Equity Party president. Not UPN, not PF, no. Uh -uh. Since when did I join PF? Since when did I, did I join UPND? Why do you want me to? Hey, where do you stand? Today you are on this side. Today you are this side. In It's true. Who is not thinking properly? Because if you think properly, you would realize that I am economic and equity party. There is a reason why I've never joined UPND. There is a reason why I've not joined PF. There is a reason why I'm economic and equity party president. Because I want to be independent. I want to speak my mind. When PF did wrong things, I, I condemned them. When UPND do wrong things, I condemned them. And that's why both of them, they have been on my, on my throat. PF used to arrest me. UPND, they are arresting me. Because I, I tell them what I think. And yet you at your own home Anyway, that is your opinion. In reality, is another. 
is another. Uh, but I will not just side in our, our opposition. Even when in church, I side with them. No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to side with an opposition that is lying. With an opposition that has got no future for this country. I'm not going to side with them. I'm not going to blame Haka Inde Ichirema. When I know Haka Inde Ichirema, is not the is not a problem. When I know Haka Inde Ichirema, he's trying to do something good. When he does something wrong, I will criticize him. That is for sure. That is for sure. I will criticize him. Even those of you who are saying, no, you are scared that you are going to jail, you are going to jail. No, 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 no. It's not about fearing going to jail. It is about me trying to engage government on a better level. What do you think about CR1? CR1 is nothing here and whatever, whatever, whatever. Let me tell you, my brother. Today, especially by UPND, you are against CR1. But you can, you can, you, you, you can attest with me if you are realistic. CR1 helped you win an election. That is a fact. So today, if you are going to underrate CR1 because CR1 is speaking against you, you are shooting yourself in the foot. You are, shoot, you are shooting yourself in the foot. CR1 is not a person that you should underrate. Not that I believe everything that, I can, that CR1 says, but I want to tell you that look at how many people watch CR1. Look at how many people watch CR1. Eh? So in as much as you are saying, no, CR1 is nothing. CR1 is nothing. Unfortunately, in his nothingness, in his lies, not everything that CR1 says is the, is the truth, no. And he's, he's lucky because CR1 speaks from outside. If CR1 was speaking from here, he would have been arrested, he would have been in jail. But because he speaks from outside, he can say anything. He can defame anyone, he can insult anyone. He's free. He's not like me. Some of you even say, ah, you cannot compare yourself to CR1. We can never be at the same level with CR1. We can't. We can't. CR1 spiritual power spiritual power what 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 abikam and a lot of people they believe these things they believe these things so don't underrate share one especially those in those of you in government by UPND don't underrate share one a lot of Zambians a lot of Zambians don't have a critical mind. A lot of Zambians listen with emotions. They don't listen with reason. They listen with emotions. If I don't think I won't fish up with you. I won't fish up with you. Hey, that idiot. Hey, you idiot. You are an idiot. What? How far we know? They feel good. They feel good. They will follow him. Look what will happen on Sunday. See how many people will be following CR1. So don't underrate CR1. Don't underrate CR1. But UPND, he helped you. But PF, they are also happy now. He's speaking for them. He's speaking for them. That is CR1. In a room for another CR1. Because we understand each other. Eh? Because I'm talking, hey, you are scared of CR1. You are scared of... Forget it. I don't have to be scared of CR1. I don't have to be scared of CR1. If there is one person where who we understand each other, it's here one. And I respect him for that. We made an agreement, if you like, you can call it a covenant, at Twimpa Mo. From that day, we understand each other with here one. And I commend him for that. I commend him for that. At least, not here, government. I cannot, I sometimes I even trust CR1 more than some of you people in government. At least he's a man who keeps to his word. So don't underrate CR1. There are a lot of people that follow him. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.